வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு தசட் பீசா ஐம் காஷ்ர ஜெயக்குமார் கோவா ஆர் மாவா இஸ் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி டுடே டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் மாவா இஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் மில்க் ப்ராடக்ட் லைக் யூ நோ இட்ஸ் அன்பிலீவபிள் கேன் யூ பிலீவ் தட் வி ஹவ் மேட் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ சாஃப்ட் அண்ட் அ ஃபார்ம் மாவா அட் ஹோம் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி டுடே சி இட்ஸ் வெரி சாஃப்ட் but at the same time it is firm and this was made with just the milk we had at home so it's it doesn't have any impurities nothing mixed to it the pure milk mawa is going to be done now we have 1 liter of full fat milk and a nice neat wok which uh, preferably could be a non stick and just Two to three spoons of water. Now pour this two to three teaspoons of water to your wok so that uh, your wok doesn't uh, uh, stick to the milk. What we are going to add now? This is just a prevention step. Uh, this uh, one liter of milk will give you around two uh, hundred grams of uh, kova. Something near, it might be a little less or more, and depends on the kind of milk which we are going to use. I am using 3.5 percent um, fat, so it depends. If you are going to get two two percent also, it's fine. So just look into that, and it will uh, vary between 150 to 200, 200 grams, but not definitely not less than that. Now let's start the procedure. This will take around one to one and a half hours. Keep it definitely in slow fire and stirring it now and then while you are attending to your other jobs also. Now we'll put it on the stove in low flame. Now after 20 minutes, see, you can see a top layer has been formed. Just give it a small stir like this, and again leave it. It will continue to keep reducing. While you're doing your other job, just keep coming now and then and stir this. If you have kept it on low flame, you need not really worry. They don't get burnt underneath. But stir this so that they don't uh, boil outside. And uh, bear it in mind that you should never cover it, and you should never cover and cook. Now this will start reducing slowly. After one hour, look, the milk has reduced. is reduced so well that in another 5 to 10 minutes our kova will get ready can you see it has become like this now slowly just wait you can see the bubbling here and there this is how it will come and finally you can see it will become very thick and you can switch it off and let it cool now again after 10 minutes look it has completely reduced it has thickened you can either switch it off and leave it for another 10 minutes to become more dry or keep stirring for the next 10 minutes so that they don't uh, go and land up into the bottom of your vessel now until now we have been very careful and we have been See, removing this completely from the sides, so we don't uh, lose any uh, amount of milk or kova. Now look at the kova. It's done. So I'm going to just leave it for ten minutes without any flame. Now after ten minutes again, look at this. This is. formed into a thick ball like stage we'll have to let it cool and then you will get a 
nice thicker ball because once it starts cooling this uh, mixture will thicken so our koa is done we let it cool and add it to any of our sweets now look we have let it cool and the koa has thickened now carefully remove with a wooden ladle or anything the sides of your pan and we can make a nice smooth ball out of this completely ready see I'm getting a nice thick cover use a nice potato masher to make it more soft when you are adding it to the sweets you are doing so dear friends hope you enjoyed this session we have the beautiful wonderful milk kova or mama ready with us we are going to put it in all kinds of sweets, gulab jamun, milk petas, khajar alwa and you name it, you have it. Those are the pizza, always enhancing your taste. Thank you and bye bye.